Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. In the last episode, Bumble actually managed to attract himself a mate. Now sweet little Mousie is following us around, helping us hunt the elk. She actually did a pretty darn good job taking down that elk that we found before, so I think we might be ready to start our own pack. We have to follow this star icon that's on the compass, and supposedly that's going to lead us to the gateway to the next mission. And I guess that is going to be to like actually build our own pack, right? It's probably going to be just like the wolf packs that we've gone into, where they have to mark off their territory and whatnot. I'm super excited to see what it's going to be like. Maybe if we do manage to like actually build a place to live, we could start our own little pup family too. I'm guessing all we have to do is basically follow this path. Yep, it looks like that may have worked. All right, so we're about to leave the Amethyst Mountain. Winter is coming. Are you ready to pass the winter and start preparing for your pops? All right, I think we are. Let's go to the creek next. So does that mean we're going to be in the middle of winter when it starts? Oh, yes, it does. Oh, I think things are about to get much harder for our poor little bumblebee. Survival of the pack. A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending territory, drives toward the single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, formerly called alphas, of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. Alrighty, Bumble. Well, you've proven yourself up to this point, but it looks like we're in brand new territory now. Oh, how gorgeous is this place. All right, so the next goal is to find a den. Spring is breaking in the high valleys of Yellowstone National Park. After a bitter winter, you and your mate know that time has come to start a family. Since other packs have already claimed the slopes of the Amethyst Mountain as their own, you have ventured across the Lamar River in search of your own territory. The meadows and hills around Slough Creek look promising. Tucked somewhere in the hills and woods, here is a den site for your pups. An ideal den site should be close to food and away from dangers such as rival packs. If you can't find this ideal, you will have to decide whether food or safety is more important to you. Two very, very important things in general. Like, we don't want to be too far away from the food, because then it would be hard for us to bring food back for our pups. But we also don't want to risk anybody sneaking into the den while we're not around. Den icons on the compass indicate potential den sites, as do green areas on the world map. Within each area is a den. Each den has benefits and challenges based on its location. When you approach the den, you can choose it for your permanent den site. Once you choose a den, you can't change it for this game. Okay, so we really, really have to make sure that this is the one that we want. So I guess we're gonna go den shopping, Mousy. You know, I don't think we actually checked out the map before. Yeah, they told us about this, but I never clicked the button. All right, so we have these green areas, which should show us where we can set up a den for our pups. So the purple areas are where stranger territories are. So that means we might not want to settle down like here or way down here. That is pretty close to enemy territory. But the hunting grounds are in the red. I mean, this one would actually be pretty far away from anybody who might steal our pups, and it's pretty darn close to the hunting grounds, too. Do you think Aspen Heights might be a good place for us to go? Maybe we should check it out? I mean, it is the farthest away, so I guess we'll at least give it a look. Only question is, which way is it? <laughs> I think it might have been this way. Uh, let's make sure that we're actually traveling in the right direction. Yeah, it looks like we're pointing straight toward the Aspen Heights. So let's continue off this way, Bumble. And we'll have to keep an eye on our own health, too. We might need to stop and maybe hunt down some elk. Oh gosh, but don't go flying off the cliffs. Yikes. Can we cross the water? Oh, I didn't think about that. Hopefully it's frozen over. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Ah, uh, that definitely doesn't look like frozen water. Okay, I guess the next question is, can we swim, or do we have to go all the way around this? Yeah, it basically cuts us off from everything over here, so I'm going to assume that we can swim, but we might want to find a bit of a more narrow area to do that. Alright, Mousy. Oh, did you just go jumping in? Oh, alright, we're fine. I thought maybe there would be like some stamina problems or something, but it looks like Bumble is a 
perfect, perfect swimmer. Hopefully Mouse is keeping up with us. I hear her splashing away back there, so she should be fine. There you are. Alright, I had nothing to be worried about. It must be awfully cold, though. You guys are gonna need a nice warm den to rest in. Alright, it looks like we may have entered one of the hunting grounds. And in fact, I think this is actually the one... Oh. Oh no, I thought it was the one we were going toward. Oh, we must have gotten mixed up somewhere. Well, since we're on our way, I guess we could explore the area. Just to see if the danger is really as bad as it seems. And we might as well pick off one of the elk, too. I'm sure that Mousy is getting pretty hungry after swimming all that way. So let's charge the herd again, Mousy. And let's see if we can find any to take down. It looks like this one might be a good one. Yeah, let's go after this elk right here. Go ahead, Mousy. Land in your attacks. I think she may have slowed down. Oh, jeez. Oh, she must have taken a quick breather because she was off like a rocket. Has she just about taken it down to the point where it's going to turn on us? I think she may have. She's taking a breather again. Yeah, we know how to sleep. They always tell us that when we're hunting the elk. Oh no, Mousy! Oh, save your meat, Bumble! There we go. Oh, that time she's actually eating from the elk. Very interesting. Last time it didn't seem like she was too interested. I guess it's because she didn't take that much damage. But we did a pretty good job, Mousy. We made a pretty good team. And our nearby den is right around the corner. So where is this thing? Will it show us where the den is if we use the smelling vision? I don't think so. Oh, it might actually be up there. Right by that tree, it looks like there's some suspicious little cave. Is that a den? Yeah, there it is. All right, so here on Bison Peak, elk hunting grounds are nearby, as is the nearest wolf pack territory. Your pups will be at a greater risk from stranger wolves, but you'll also travel a shorter distance to hunt. Yeah, we're gonna keep looking. We might as well hit up all the dens, I guess, and try to make our decision after. But, I mean, having those elks so nearby would definitely be a big help. Then we wouldn't even have to go far enough away for, like, enemies to sneak in. I don't know. It does seem a little bit risky. Let's sniff around, too, to see if anybody else is here. Oh, that's just mousy. Okay, I thought maybe we were like right in the middle of somebody's territory. There's some carcasses off in the distance. One that we caught, of course, and one that's just lying around. But I think up in this direction somewhere, maybe over here, this is where we're going to see our enemy wolves. Yeah, I just want to see exactly how close they are. Kind of have to gauge what's around the area, you know? I mean, it seems awfully far away, but I guess if we were hunting an elk... It wouldn't be that hard for somebody to cross that gap. Oh, do you see all those wolves? Oh, way off in the distance, in those trees? Um, should we turn around? Mousy, I don't know if I like this. I think that's a wolf pack. Are they coming toward us? Oh, jeez. Okay, Mouse, come on, come on. Let's go back. Abort. Let's go home. All right, so those wolves are definitely alive and well. They are a very large pack, much more so than what we had experienced back in the Amethyst Mountain. So maybe we don't want to set up camp here. Let's see if we can figure out where the other dens were. We want to go up to this one next because that's the one that I was most curious about. So I think if we set our sights in about this direction, hopefully that'll take us toward the heights. Maybe we should stop off at the carcass too before we go past. It does look like we're getting a tiny, tiny bit hungry. Like, it's just a sliver. But I do want our wolves to be in, like, tip-top condition as we go further. Who knows what sort of dangers we're going to meet along the way. We're definitely headed in the right direction this time because I do see the den icon right in front of us on the compass. So we just have to cross the water. I mean, this place is pretty gorgeous. I bet all those rolling hills in the distance. That must be what they call the Aspen Heights. And that means that the hunting ground should be right off to the left as well. The wind isn't exactly in our favor this time. Like, I wonder if this would be a trickier place for us to hunt in general, because it looks like it's just pointing us straight in the direction of the elk. Well, let's at least see where the den is out here before we make any decisions. It's gotta be, like, just around the corner. That icon is super, super bright. I wonder if maybe we follow that trail around the mountain up there. 
Yeah, maybe that's where we'll find the den. Or is it this strange rock behind this tree? No, that's not our den, okay. I thought maybe that was a cave of some sort. That is definitely not a cave, it's just a random old rock. Yeah, let's try going over this hill. Maybe this is a good spot? Yeah, here's the den. Oh, it even has flowers by it. This den is some distance from elk grounds and the nearest wolf pack territory. Hunting forays will take longer, but stranger wolves are less likely to intrude into your territory. This den is also farthest from your summer hunting grounds, to which you might go later in the spring. Oh, I didn't know the hunting grounds would change. Apparently they change with the seasons. That's interesting. So even though we have a hunting ground like right over here, that doesn't mean that we're going to be able to use it once the pups actually come. Huh. Well, that's something we're going to have to keep in mind, I guess. But the hunting ground is basically right over this hill. Oh, and what a beautiful place to live. We could just sit on top of this hill and just gaze over the world together, Mousy. We could look for the elk in the distance, while the pups play with all the flowers by the den. I don't know, I kind of like this place. It might be a little bit tricky to bring the food back, but I'm liking it so far. We will go check out the final den just in case. The one by Saddle Meadows and the Canyon Cliffs. I think this is just about where we started. So this den was another one that was a little bit closer to some enemy territory. I think it was actually farther away than the previous one by the enemy territory that we saw. So I mean, this is also a pretty good spot for us to consider. It's right in between both food and safety. It's kind of like the middle ground. Let's just try to figure out where it is first. I guess it's going to be up in the peaks, just like the previous one. We're on the elk hunting ground now, but it looks like the den is probably located somewhere inside that giant hill. Let's take a quick rest for a moment. I just noticed that poor bee is getting pretty tired here, so I bet that mousey is too. Yeah, there we go. Now he's running nice and strong again. He's gonna need his energy if he wants to get up this hill after all. So I'm guessing the den is probably right over the bend here. Oh, this is going to be a pretty beautiful view too. Not like the other one. But this one has to be quite gorgeous. Let's see. Oh, you can see for miles up here, Mousy. This one is so cool too. All right, where is that den hiding? Is it on the backside or did I run past it? I haven't seen anything that looks like a den so far. This one might actually be a little bit trickier to find. There we go, I think I found it over here. Yeah, but that should be our next den. Here on Saddle Meadows, the nearest elk grounds are some distance away, but there are no other wolf territories nearby. If you choose the site, you will travel farther to hunt, but with less worry about stranger wolves encroaching into your territory. Oh, I was under the impression that there actually were some enemy wolves here. Wait a second, let's take a look at our map. All right, I guess they're far enough away that it doesn't really make a difference, but the elk hunting grounds is a bit far too. All right, so we have some pretty big decisions to make. I still feel like Aspen Heights might be our best bet, just because we won't have to worry about the enemy territories. I did love the view up in the heights, and let's be honest, I think those flowers may have sealed the deal for me. So I think we're gonna go all the way back to the heights, We'll stop by the hunting ground though and just pick off another elk. That way our poor little wolves won't get too hungry. It'll be interesting to see how fast we can take down these elk in the future though. It sounds like we're really going to have to move super, super fast to keep our pups safe. Like, I don't know if there's anything else that could possibly sneak into our territory, aside from just the wolves. We know from experience that we saw plenty of like coyotes, plenty of foxes in the forest. I'd imagine that all of those would be willing to steal a cub from the nest too, or cub from the den rather. So let's go ahead and try to grab this elk as we go. We have to practice for our babies after all. It's nice to see that Mousy is such an eager parent too. She is really throwing like every last bit of energy that she has into this. I wish we could see if she's getting hurt at all. Oh geez, because I know that I can hear her crying when this elk hits her. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, poor elk, doing a little death dance for us. All right, well, eat up, little mousy. We have a bit of a trek to go, so this is going to have to keep you full. I wonder when we can try to take down one of the male elk. 
Like that has to be quite the challenge. Those giant antlers, oh, that must take off so much health on our poor little wolves. I feel like that should be reserved for some sort of last resort, like a last ditch effort to get food. If we have the weaker elk to take off first, then we might as well just go with those. Much more realistic to a wolf pack family. Oh, I wonder if our babies are going to be able to hunt with us? Obviously, they'd have to grow quite a bit before they can. But that would be pretty fun. Kind of like shelter, you know? Once your babies start to grow, they can actually find food for you too. And they bring you back like little hares and frogs and stuff. I'm not sure how far into the wolf's lifespan this game actually goes, so maybe we don't even get to that point. But it would still be pretty cool to see. Alright, through the water again, Bumble, and then we should be just about home. I see those heights in the distance. So we just have to follow the pathway up to the den, right? I think that's about where it was located. Just take a quick rest. The swimming does seem to take quite a bit off of his energy. Bumble just isn't used to swimming through the creeks yet. I'm sure he's going to be a master swimmer before long. Yeah, the den should be around here somewhere. There it is, the beautiful, beautiful den with the flowers. So I think this is the one that I'm going to choose. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want to make the wrong decision for our wolf pups. But I guess in the next episode, we'll claim this as our own. And hopefully we'll see little babies inside that den pretty soon. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions as far as names are concerned. But apart from that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!